Viewer discretion is advised. What we saw of it allayed a lot of my fears. Uh, there were a couple of things I was a little bit worried about, and then we heard from the showrunners, and I think that allayed the rest of my fears. Like, yeah, I would consider to be my most major concerns are significantly less concerning now. Alan and Sean, host of the Prancing Pony podcast. What did you right. guys think of what we saw today? Uh, pretty the excited. Whole Pretty, yeah. Pretty excited, yeah. yeah. I think I've gone from cautiously optimistic to genuinely excited. Yeah, but, yeah. I, but I think even more than the footage, I think it was what we heard from the showrunners. Absolutely. It's made me yeah. excited. I mean, it's just, yeah. I, mean, I, I think their, their passion and knowledge really showed yeah. through. Yeah. What's the deal with everyone saying that dwarven women are meant to have beards? Is that from the books? It's like a bizarre fan fascination. Tolkien never says dwarven women have beards. True, you don't see many dwarf women. And in fact, they are so alike in voice and appearance <laughs> that they're often mistaken for dwarf men. It's the beard. 